Hi guys, it's BF Sync Studios and today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my new dollhouse. My dollhouse has been kind of built into my wardrobe, which is just a normal wardrobe with two sliding doors. One side has a hanging rail and the other side has shelves. I've moved the shelves so I can have two rooms with my doll standing up and one room with storage in it. I used to have just one room for my dolls in the bottom of the hanging rail section of my wardrobe but it got really cluttered and it was really difficult because a lot of my clothes had to be hung there so a few days ago, I think it was just yesterday I went through, I got rid of a whole bunch of my clothes so now I have space in my wardrobe for this This is the first room I call it the study This is what it looks like without my dolls Now I'm going to show you in more detail the main feature is this desk and chair that my dad built me ages ago. There's a homemade bag hanging on the corner of the chair, and there is a cork board and a whiteboard on the desk. There are many accessories on the desk, such as a laptop, an alarm clock, a telephone, and a clipboard. Here there are three notebooks, the laptop box, and Lacey's spare pair of glasses. In the corner, we have Lacey's binoculars, some scrapbooks, a box full of pins and other things for the pin board, and a box of craft stuff. There is extra storage under the desk. The second main furniture piece is this side table slash chair. I made it by covering a box in a sheet and putting some knitted padding on the top. There's a small box of optical illusion puzzles, and another small box of lateral thinking puzzles. There is also a game of jacks. Once again, here is the whole room. In between the first and second room, there's a thin shelf that I use for storage. This is the second room. It's the games room slash chill out room, and it's my favorite room. This is what it looks like without the dolls. A key component of this room is what I call the storage corner. This chest of drawers is something that I got from my granddad's garage. He used to keep different types of screws and nails in it. It has things such as hair bows and many other random miscellaneous things. It even has mini hand clappers. The second key element of the room is the couch. I made the couch from a My Froggy Stuff tutorial. On the couch, there are cushions I made. And beside the couch, there's a basket I made with lots of flowers in it. Next to the couch, there's this box with some stuffed animals on top. The box itself has more smaller stuffed animals in it. And of course, you can't forget their adorable sleeping cat. Something that really completes this room for me is the bunting. The bunting hangs in front of this Apple organizer that I got for Christmas. Inside each of the boxes, there are things such as notebooks, bouncy balls, small toys, etc. In front of the organizer, there's Rover the Fish, some playing cards, and another telephone. There's also some blue tack for hanging stuff on the walls. Speaking of the walls, my favorite part of this room is definitely the walls, just because I hope that eventually I can get a lot more stuff to go up there, a lot more of my pictures, a lot more posters and such and some things I've created and I just want to cover the entire walls and make it really fun and really cool. And that was the second room. Thank you for watching my dollhouse tour. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll be sure to try and help. Thanks for watching. Bye. She's so pretty.